touching down in Ankara, Turkey Thursday, a deal not seen since the Cold War. Today we're bringing home Paul, Evan, Alsu, Vladimir. Three American citizens and one American green card holder. All four have been imprisoned unjustly in Russia. Among those headed home from Russian prisons, journalists Evan Gershkovich, Alsu Kermasheva, and former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, and Pulitzer Prize-winning columnist Vladimir Karamurza. In total, months of negotiations secured the release of 16 people, including five wrongfully detained Germans and seven Russian citizens, in return for eight Russians held in the US, Germany, Poland, Norway and Slovenia. Flanked by the families of the Americans unjustly held, President Joe Biden says the deal is down to a, quote, feat of diplomacy and friendship. Multiple countries helped get this done. They joined a difficult, complex negotiation at my request. And I personally thank them all again. Top of Moscow's list, Vadim Krasikov, a convicted killer who was jailed in Germany. Whelan is the longest detained American in Thursday's swap. Arrested in Moscow in 2018, the veteran had been serving a 16-year prison term in a penal colony. Both he and the US have rigorously denied the spy charges against him. Wall Street Journal reporter Gershkovich was also imprisoned on espionage charges that he vehemently denied. The Moscow correspondent had spent 490 days in prison, and Kermasheva spent nearly 10 months in prison. The Prague-based editor works for VOA sister network Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, or RFERL. Russia has designated the independent station a so-called foreign agent and undesirable, which, under the country's law, carries an increased threat of legal action. It is very risky for many journalists uh, that we employ and um, they are really on the front lines and putting their lives at risk all the time. As families and supporters of those freed celebrate, analysts say Russia's targeting of critics and media is cutting audiences off from rare sources of independent news. With Liam Scott and Christina Caseda-Smith in Washington, Jessica Dorit, VOA News.